Good afternoon, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Today, I'm going to be making some um, journal tags. I wanted to use these little um, button clusters, button key clusters that I made the other day. So I thought um, I could hang them off a little tag here. And this is just some craft paper. And um, I'm using an assortment of embellishments. The idea of the cards on the craft paper came from Shinuki Art, Shana. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but uh, she did something similar, and then she she did them this way, and she made a pocket with vellum. But I'm just going to um, use her concept of using just piece three pieces of scrap paper as your base, and then a focal point, and then I stitched around, and um, I added some washi tape that I made following um, inspired by um, Antonio Makes and I used some medical tape and I just put it down on a piece of an old um, piece of plastic from one of my sticker sheets and I just put it on here took a stamp pad. Uh, he did his on, on masking tape, but again, use what you have, and this is what I had, and um, it pulls right off. You can cut it, and I used a piece here, and there's two pieces here. So, yeah, that's something else you can try out. I'm not going to do a video because you can go to Antonio's and see it there. Okay? So I used that. Um, my elements are from all over the place. I know this was from Rachel Bella Crafts. Uh, Happiness and Crafting has some of the elements. Um, I'd say um, this idea was from uh, Sunshine and Grace. So, yeah. Just... Um, Use what you have. These are some tags that I made, some um, ticket tags. So, yeah, we're just going to make a few here on camera. So, what uh, Shanna did was she took her paper and she just used three different um, pieces of background material. So, I just randomly cut some longer pieces. So, I just want to use these. And, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's put these up here so I have, um, don't copy what I just did. So I have some, um, this was all misprints when my printer was acting up, but I saved it because it's great for backgrounds. And this was, um, just leftover music paper and things like that. So, yeah. So let's just, um. Have a little play here and we'll put this down I just want to make sure it's over the side and I know it's long I don't care about that stuff and then let's um put this up here great way to use up your scrap pile or your misprints is my case would be. And then um, something down here. Yeah, I'm missing that I don't have any um, ink to print. So I want to create new videos, so I'm just going to um, use up some other stash on my desk. Uh, I hear my ink should be here by Tuesday or Wednesday. So let's just trim all this off. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't know the exact place where I've got all my elements. Uh, for those of you that follow along, I sorted all my elements into um, Ziploc bags a couple weeks ago, but I didn't put in the the site where I got them all. 
so there's your nice background. Um, just make sure any sticking it, any edges are down. Okay, I am going to just um, quickly That's a great base. And let's put a little piece of our washi that we made. I know Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda did one the other day, and uh, she used double sided uh, backing paper, and I do have some paper coming, so I'm going to wait for that. So these are just, um, like I said, random elements. I'm going to have one focal point. I just um, just added some things that I'm going to put on here and call it a day. I've already inked everything except this. So well, this is some stays on. I had on my desk, so let's with that. Okay. This will be great in your journal. on that one. Let's put that underneath. And our butterfly. I'm happy with that. I'm going to put this over here. But I want to um, stitch around it. So I think I'm going to wait for that. I'll do the other base and then we can stitch together. So this one I have a mushroom, another label, and I'm not sure where these came from. I'm so sorry. All right, so let's put this over here. Here. I'm not going to think too much or read into anything, ladies. Doesn't have to be very detailed to look cute. Okay, 
for this one, I just picked a uh, mushroom and a pink label, a couple of roses, and a pink tag. So, let's glue down any edges that didn't get stuck down. Okay. And for the life of me, I don't know where these mushrooms came from. If someone recognizes them and they could tell me, that would be amazing. Um, let's put a piece of washi up there. Thinking of you. this off. You could put stuff on the back. I'm not on these two, but you certainly could add some decoration. Okay, I'm going to add some words. I have uh, more kindness. And on this one, we'll put real, not perfect. That's certainly a good motto for me. Put this one on the tab. So after I after I sew it. So my friends, I will be right back. Okay, friends, I'm back. My sewing machine is not working. I can't seem to thread it. So I will um tackle that task in a little bit. But here are my completed tags. And they all have one of the button key dangles on them. And they will make lovely additions to my journals. 
So have fun. Can't wait to see what you create. Have a beautiful day. Bye.